Uh oh. Oh, no wonder. Wrong resins. Wrong end of the resistor. Okay. Oscillator, oscillator. One, two divider, three divider, four divider, five divider, six divider. Five and six are out. That's on this one. <coughs> That's what a VCC of six point something volts. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to take this, remove the nonsense, <clears throat> shove it in the next slot over, and see if it still misbehaves. That's three. I can't get to it. I feel like Mick Jagger, you know. Big lips and nowhere to go. <laughs> <laughs> now one, two, three, four, five. Come on. That's six? I can't. I don't have six. I don't have five. No, you have five. I have, no, I have four. That's four. I can't get the thing just to probe just right. It's in the dark. That looks like it was. Hmm. Oh, I don't have five and six. Since in a flip-flop IC current for the collector equals beta IB, and since the seems the uh, the oscillator works when we have nine volts on it, but not on six, that seems to think that something happened in its old age. To the two transistors. Hey, very possible. It's only 40 years old. And um, these are NPN, so we're going to replace them and for laughs just to see if the oscillator kicks in. I'm only going to do this onto one. The only other option, my friend, is the, uh, the plate itself. <laughs> uh, in which case I'm glad I made extras alrighty now somewhere is around here there was a cutter that explains why it runs but usually when you have a bad plate I mean it just refuses to go no matter what you do what you say it just does not want to oscillate. Alright, be careful with these if you're taking them out because they're with the flat side up, they're ECB, not EBC. And the ones we're going to put in are EBC. So just remember which end is which. Otherwise it won't oscillate, to say the least. And you're going to stick them in and see if the card runs. That may be all they are is a couple of tired transistors that just don't want to operate at lower voltages. In other words, the bait is not high enough to, to start sustain an oscillation. But it could also be that we'll be made fools of. And if we are, it'll only be because the plate may be bad. So there's the C. And there we go. So that's E is ground. And then C and then B. And then we're going to twist the transistor like that. 
We don't want the leads touching. <clears throat> okay. So we're going to do the same to this one. <clears throat> we're going to bring the B over here and the C over here. And we're going to put the E where it belongs. The C where it belongs. And if I can find it in this light, the base. Oops. Now we'll try this again. There we go. And we're going to give it a slight twist so that the leads don't short. <clears throat> we're going to solder. <clears throat> now the ones we're putting in have higher betas than the ones that were in here. So if the transistors were just plain old-fashioned tired, um, this would run at the 6 volts. If they don't, there's nothing left but the plate. There's also a coupling capacitor involved too. We're going to clip the leads. We don't want anything shorting out before it's time. And after the warranty's up, it's time. <laughs> Alright. This was the D. We're going to shove that back in its little home. Come on. I don't know if squeezing that connector was a real good idea. But we'll find out. <laughs> Back in business. Back in business. <laughs> that one's a constant. Now, there's an example for you. The transistor reads good on the meter. Yeah. And it will work at the 9 volts, but it won't work at the 6. Something has that drastically gone wrong with its beta over the years. Hmm. That was a D sharp, by the way. You just did not do D sharp. All right, fine. Uh, they were nice enough to mark both of them. I, D. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to argue with them. Now we're going to take these tired beasts and throw them in the garbage. All right, let's see the next one that does not run. Well, it came down to a. Oh Cause, yeah. Because you even checked the transistors and you had junctions on both of them, which would have proved correct if you just took it at face value. Yeah, if you look for the two junctions, mm -hmm. it's there. Yeah. And it runs at nine volts. Mm -hmm. Now, since beta IB equals IC, to get enough current to oscillate and go back and forth as a flip flop, you need a high enough IC and a high enough IB. At the lower voltage six, you probably don't have enough. And at the higher voltage, you do. Mm. And it's an, it's enough of a kick to get the flip-flop going. And um, unfortunately, the problem is, and, and, and when you have a chain of flip-flops, you understand, if number five don't go, number six isn't going to wake up for you. <clears throat> okay. Mm. All right, let's see what the uh, next uh, little beast that doesn't run is. That's a switch, that's a C sharp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's about five missing contacts on this one. We have the same problem in the F card. The lowest one is not running, and so it's going to get yanked. Like I said, this is our first line of defense. <clears throat> 